Secure Access Service Edge, SASE, is poised for significant transformation in 2025. The global market is expected to reach between 10 and $17 billion as organizations increasingly adopt this cloud-based framework that combines networking and security functions into a unified service. According to Deloro Group, the SASE market is forecast to grow at a 12% compound annual growth rate, driven by enterprises seeking integrated solutions for hybrid work environments and multi-cloud ecosystems. Once again, thank you for tuning in. Do me a favor, hit the like and subscribe so you too will start pushing my videos out to more viewers. I appreciate the help. Now back to the video. AI-driven threat detection automation. Integrating artificial intelligence into SASE frameworks revolutionizes threat detection capabilities in 2025, creating more resilient security postures for organizations facing increasingly sophisticated cyber threats. AI-powered SASE solutions now employ advanced machine learning algorithms to detect zero-day and advanced persistent threats, or APTs, in real time significantly reducing detection and response times compared to traditional security approaches. This AI enhancement manifests in several key capabilities that are transforming SASE implementations. Proactive anomaly detection, AI systems continuously analyze network traffic patterns to identify deviations from normal behavior, flagging potential threats, before they can execute attacks. This represents a shift from reactive to proactive security postures. Correlation across infrastructure. A significant advantage of AI-driven SASE is its ability to correlate security data across the entire network infrastructure, connecting seemingly unrelated events to identify coordinated attack patterns that might go unnoticed. Real-time risk scoring AI algorithms continuously assess user and device behavior, generating dynamic risk scores that automatically adjust access privileges based on contextual factors and threat intelligence. Automated policy enforcement, machine learning models can automatically generate and adjust security policies based on observed network behavior and emerging threats, reducing the administrative burden on security teams. The market is responding to these advancements with Palo Alto Network's AI-powered Prisma SASE solution gaining traction for its ability to detect, protect, and defend against potential threats like zero-day exploits and malicious malware. Similarly, Versa Networks is leveraging AI to help organizations respond more effectively to rapidly emerging threats. From a telecommunications perspective, AI integration into SASE is particularly valuable for 5G deployments, where the increased network complexity and expanded attack surface require more sophisticated security measures. Service providers are incorporating AI-driven SASE solutions to offer enhanced customer protection in the 5G era, creating new revenue opportunities while addressing critical security challenges. The economic impact of this trend is substantial. The SASE market crossed $1.8 billion in 2023 and is projected to grow at approximately 25% CAGR through 2032. AI capabilities are a significant driver of this growth with increasing demand for AI-driven threat detection, policy automation, and identity-based access controls, creating opportunities for established vendors and startups to differentiate their offerings. As organizations continue their digital transformation journeys, AI-powered SASE solutions are becoming essential for maintaining security without sacrificing performance or user experience. By 2025, these systems will not only detect and respond to threats more effectively,
but also they will increasingly predict and prevent attacks before they materialize, fundamentally changing the cybersecurity landscape for enterprises worldwide. One last reminder to hit the like um, and subscribe. Zero Trust, architecture integration. Integrating Zero Trust architecture with SASE represents a fundamental shift in security paradigms for 2025, moving from perimeter-based defenses to continuous verification models. This synergistic approach addresses the security challenges of distributed workforces and cloud-first environments by ensuring that no user or device is trusted by default, regardless of network location. By 2025, Zero Trust Architecture is projected to become the foundational security architecture for organizations adapting to hybrid work environments and combating insider threats. This integration is crucial as traditional network perimeters continue to dissolve with users accessing resources from various locations and devices. This projection informs the audience about the future direction of cybersecurity. This integration's core principle is never trust, always verify, which manifests through several key components. Identity and access management, or IAM, serves as the cornerstone, rigorously authenticating users before granting access to resources. Zero Trust Network Access, or ZTNA, complements this by restricting application access based on granular policies rather than network location. AI-powered SASE solutions enhance zero trust implementation through continuous authentication and adaptive access controls. Instead of relying on one-time verification, these systems dynamically adjust access privileges based on real-time behavior and contextual factors such as user location, time of access, and device health. This constant monitoring enables organizations to detect anomalies and respond to threats more effectively. The benefits of this integration extend beyond security improvements. Organizations implementing zero trust within their SASE framework experience reduced attack surface by limiting exposure of IP addresses to the public internet, decreased ransomware risk by preventing lateral movement across networks, enhanced compliance with regulatory requirements through strict access controls, simplified IT management through consolidated security tools. According to Gartner, by 2026, approximately 60% of new SD-WAN purchases will be integrated into single vendor SASE offerings incorporating zero trust principles. This projection underscores the growing recognition that traditional SD-WAN solutions while cost-effective, often overextend trust and expand the attack surface. The SASE and Zero Trust combination delivers secure connectivity for hybrid workforces, regardless of location or device. This approach ensures remote workers can access resources securely without compromising performance or user experience. The integration also supports the secure adoption of IoT and operational technology without widening the attack surface. As organizations prepare for 2025's security challenges, the Zero Trust SASE model provides least privileged access across managed offices, eliminating the need for complex network-based security that has historically failed to prevent breaches. And this approach strengthens security posture and simplifies operations, allowing businesses to focus on their core mission rather than managing a fragmented security infrastructure. Unified SASE vendor consolidation. The SASE market is experiencing a significant shift towards single vendor solutions with unified SASE emerging as the preferred approach for organizations seeking to simplify their security and networking infrastructure. This consolidation trend is expected to accelerate through 2025 with the unified SASE market projected to grow at an impressive 
2% revenue compound annual growth rate from 2022 to 2027, outpacing the disaggregated SASE approaches 15% CAGR. The number of single vendor, fully unified SASE solution providers has doubled from approximately eight to nine vendors in Q3 2023 to 17 as of June 2024, with companies like iBoss, Barracuda, Sophos, Huawei, and Citrix adding or evolving components compatible with single vendor SASE. This expansion reflects the market's response to enterprise demands for simplified management and integrated security controls. Major acquisitions are reshaping the SASE landscape with staggering investments, including Broadcom's $69 billion acquisition of VMware and HPE's $14 billion acquisition of Juniper Networks. These strategic moves enable vendors to build comprehensive SASE portfolios that combine networking and security capabilities under a single platform. The 2025 market strongly prefers unified solutions with 61% of organizations favoring a single vendor SASE approach over multi-vendor implementations. This represents a direct response to the fragmentation challenges identified in previous years where security teams struggled with managing multiple disconnected tools. According to Deloro Group, the single vendor SASE market is growing faster, 22% revenue CAGR. Then multi-vendor SASE, which is at 12% revenue CAGR, confirming that customers prefer a one-stop shop for their SASE needs. Among the leading unified SASE providers, Versa Networks has maintained its position as the market share leader, commanding nearly 40% of the global market share in Q3 2023. Other prominent players in the unified SASE space include Cato Networks, Fortinet, Palo Alto Networks, and Netsco, each offering comprehensive solutions that combine SD-WAN capabilities with security services. Several factors drive the consolidation trend, simplified management through unified policy repositories for both network and security policies, reduced complexity and operational costs, enhanced security through tightly integrated services, improved user experience with consistent policy enforcement, streamlined procurement and vendor management, As organizations continue supporting hybrid work models and cloud services, the unified SASE approach provides a future-ready framework that addresses current and emerging networking and security challenges. By 2025, we can expect further vendor consolidation through mergers and acquisitions as the market matures and organizations increasingly recognize the benefits of a unified approach to SASE implementation. Emerging SASE Threat Landscape. The SASE paradigm faces significant challenges in 2025 as threat actors develop increasingly sophisticated methods to exploit vulnerabilities in this integrated security framework. Zero day vulnerabilities in SASE components. Zero day exploits represent one of the most serious threats to SASE environments with attackers targeting previously unknown vulnerabilities in critical infrastructure components. In early 2025, a severe zero-day vulnerability, CVE 2025-31324, affecting SAP Visual Composer, demonstrated how quickly such exploits can be weaponized. This vulnerability, scoring a perfect 10.0 CVSS, allowed unauthenticated threat actors to upload arbitrary files resulting in complete system compromise. The threat landscape has evolved with AI-powered zero-day hunting tools that effectively democratize exploits for less sophisticated attackers, significantly raising the overall threat level. According to security researchers, these tools can automatically generate and tailor exploit payloads in real-time analyzing system-specific parameters 
to produce dynamic, adaptive exploits that bypass traditional defenses. AI-powered attacks against SASE infrastructure. Artificial intelligence has become a double-edged sword in the SASE ecosystem. While organizations leverage AI for enhanced security, threat actors weaponize the same technology to develop more sophisticated attacks. By 2025, AI-enhanced malware attacks have emerged as a primary concern for IT professionals globally, with 60% identifying them as the most concerning AI-generated threat. Cyber criminals are using AI to elevate the sophistication of their attacks, making them increasingly elusive and harder to detect. These AI-driven threats can automate vulnerability identification, craft convincing phishing schemes, and even adapt in real time to circumvent security measures. Third-party and supply chain risk. SASE implementations inherently rely on cloud service providers and various third-party components, creating significant supply chain vulnerabilities. Any compromise in these elements could impact the entire security posture of organizations adopting SASE. According to Embroker's analysis, in 2025, third-party exposure will rank as the second most critical cybersecurity threat. The risk extends beyond direct service providers to include potential tampering with software or hardware that could introduce vulnerabilities into the SASE framework. Deepfake technology has become a powerful tool for cyber criminals targeting SASE environments through social engineering attacks. The number of deepfakes online has surged dramatically, increasing by 550% from 2019 to 2023. Projections suggest around 8 million video and voice deepfakes will be shared on social media worldwide in 2025. This technology enables compelling social engineering attacks that compromise user credentials and bypass authentication mechanisms within SASE frameworks. Ransomware as a service targeting SASE environments. The ransomware as a service or RAS model has evolved to specifically target SASE implementations. Cyber criminals are adopting business-like approaches to make ransomware attacks more frequent and sophisticated. Rather than launching widespread attacks, ransomware operators now focus on low volume, high impact campaigns involving extensive reconnaissance, data theft, and extortion. Multi-tenancy and cloud-based vulnerabilities. SASE systems frequently utilize cloud-based multi-tenant architectures where different organizations share identical infrastructure. This design creates inherent security challenges as inadequate isolation mechanisms can lead to data leaks or unauthorized access between tenants. Additionally, servers hosting SASE services are vulnerable to server-side attacks, including exploitation attempts, server software vulnerabilities, and misconfigurations. These environments are also prime targets for denial of service attacks, which can lead to service disruptions across the entire SASE framework. Organizations implementing SASE must ensure their providers employ robust isolation methods, including encryption and strict access controls while implementing DOS protection mechanisms and load balancing solutions. As SASE adoption continues to accelerate through 2025, organizations must remain vigilant against these emerging threats while implementing comprehensive security measures that evolve alongside the threat landscape. The effectiveness of SASE as a security paradigm ultimately depends on how well organizations can adapt to and mitigate these sophisticated attack vectors.